Hey guys, so today I'm excited to share with you guys my first makeup weekly, wait, weekly makeup basket. So I have a drawer here, so it's a weekly makeup drawer that I have all the products that I am going to be trying to work on this upcoming week. So I'm just going to go ahead and share with you guys what I am working on as well as showing you guys um, progress. Some, A lot of these are in like projects that I want to use up so you kind of see a little sneak peek of those progress, what I'm doing on those. But yeah, I wanted to just again show you guys what products I'll be working on. So the first I'm going to just do my eye cream is the Murad Renewing Eye Cream. It looks like that. Um, this is a really nice eye cream. It is light and creamy and very moisturizing, so I like having that. The primer that I will be using is the Murad Invisiblur Perfecting Shield. This has SPF 30. It treats, blurs, and protects. And I do like this as a primer, and I do like that it has SPF on it. The next thing I do is I put on eye primer. So the eye primer I'm using is the Lorac Behind the Scenes Eye Primer. Looks like that. This is just a basic eye primer. And then I put on color bases. So the two color bases that I work on interchangeably are the Maybelline Color Tattoo and Seashore Frost which these both are limited edition, but I do want to work on getting these out of my collection. So that's Seashore Frost. And then this one is an Inked in Pink. And this, I believe, too, is was limited edition. So those are the two eye bases that I'll be using. And for eyeshadow, I plan on Monday through Friday, I will solely use my palette that I am panning. This is the Aquila Elise for Tarte. And this is kind of a little sneak peek of my progress. So I am planning on working on all of these eyeshadow shades as well as the highlight bronzer and blush during the work week. But I do, during that time, want to add in a single eyeshadow for each week. So the single eyeshadow for this week I'm going to work interchangeably with that palette is my new Urban Decay eyeshadow in Diamond Dog. So this is what that looks like and I do plan on doing a tutorial of kind of how I match these babies up so you guys can see how I'm using the Tarte Aqua Lilies with the Diamond Dog. And that's what I'm kind of planning on doing each week. Uh, with my Pan That palette, I'll pick out a different eyeshadow or a different eyeshadow palette that I want to pair with it. So I do plan on having kind of get ready with me of those. So I'm pretty excited about that. And then on the weekend, I want to switch out and put a palette in there. So the palette for Saturday and Sunday, so I can have a break from the Pan That palette, is this Too Faced. This is the black package of the Le Grand Chateau palette. And it comes with six eyeshadow shades and a blush. So this is the other blush besides the blush in the Aqua Lilies palette that I'll be working on during this week. And yeah, I'm really excited to kind of add things on the weekends and work hardcore on what I need to be doing. So that's that for concealer. I have these two samples. Um, I'll link my 365 days of samples update down below, but I pick seven items that sample items that I want to work on during the week. And this was a makeup item that I picked out. This is the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation and Concealer in the shade Neutral, so it looks like that. But on top of that, I use my It Cosmetics Concealer. This is in the shade Neutral Medium looks like that. I really do like this for under the eyes. It's a very thick concealer. I'll link my review and demo down below. But I also want to work on my Evelyn Iona concealer on like various blemishes and things like that. So that is kind of my progress on that. And I just want to get that one out of my collection. 
for eyeliners, I want to work on these two eyeliners. One is the Urban Decay Zero 24-7 Eye Pencil. Looks like that. I have it on my upper eyelid today or upper lash line today. And then on my lower lash line or waterline, I have this Rimmel Scandalized Nude. So these are the two eyeliners I'm working on this week. As well as my eyebrow products for this week, I am working on my Brow Wiz Anastasia in the shade Dark Brown. I really love this. I don't have any eyebrow products on now. But yeah, this upcoming week I will. As well as the Anastasia... Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. So those are for my eyebrow products. And for mascara, for my top lashes, I recently have been using, and sorry about the packaging, let me try and take this off real quick for you. Okay, for my mascara this week, I am using the Elizabeth Mott Volumizing Mascara. It's so big. Looks like that. I do have it on my eyelashes now. And I think this product has dried up a little bit because I don't find it is super volumizing and really could get much color to my eyelashes. So that is why I did add another deluxe sample of the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a really nice mascara, so when I find that this one's just dead and it's getting pretty close, that I will be working on this Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. On my bottom lashes, I will be using the Clinique Bottom Lash Mascara. It looks like this. I love this for my lower lashes. It has a small um, brush that you can just wiggle and get your lower lashes exactly. It doesn't smudge or like if you have watery eyes it doesn't kind of run down your face. So I really love that. The powder I am going to be using is the Maybelline Fit Me in Translucent. As you can tell I am getting to the bare minimum of this, so I do want to keep working on it and get this out of my collection. I have a lip balm here. This is the Jersey Shore Mongongo Nutrient Defense Anti-Aging Lip Conditioner. This was in a previous project pan, but I do want to just continue making sure I'm wearing lip balm and get this baby out of my collection. This is a brand that is cruelty free. Another blush that I wanted to throw in here, this is the MAC Mineralized Blush in Gleeful. I wanted something other than those bright pinks and corals for the winter time. And this is a really great, like a berry dark shade that I can use on my cheeks to just switch it up throughout the week. As well as bronzers besides that palette, I do want to continue to work on the Too Faced The Little Black Book of Bronzers. And this week... I want to focus on Beach Bunny, which is this shade right here, as well as continue using like Endless Summer for like contouring. So yeah, that is for bronzers. For makeup setting spray, I will be using the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. This is my favorite. I really do love this. As well as this baby right here, this is the Burberry Fluid Base in number one, and this is Nude Radiance. This is a great product for putting on top of a primer before your foundation to give you that luminous glow. I love it. I just purchased this full size, and I want to use it this week. And then lastly for foundation is my Urban Decay Naked Skin Weightless Ultra Definition Liquid Makeup in 3.5. As you can see, I have been getting down there, and I really do love this foundation, so I do want to continue and work and use it. For, like, my little, this is, like, my office bag. I put, like, lip products and fragrance. I am going to be working on my Wonderstruck by Taylor Swift perfume. As you can tell, I am about down to there, but I just need to get this fragrance out of my collection. It's kind of been with me for a while. 
Um, lip products that I'll be using is the Bare Minerals Moxie lipstick. Looks like that. I really do like the formula of that lipstick as well as the Maybelline Lust for Blush. And my YSL Rouge Volip Shine in number two. Which has a lot of progress left. I mean product left. But yeah, those are the products that I have picked out to use during this next week. I, again, I do plan on doing a get ready with me. So be sure to stay tuned for that as well as other videos this week. And thanks again for watching. I appreciate it. And I'll talk to you in my next video. Bye.